what a year. What a year. A year where we brought some respectability back to the Port Adelaide Football Club. My enormous thanks to Travis and his playing group who performed in a way which made us all proud, both on and off the field. You guys have been an absolute credit to yourself, to your families, and also to Port Adelaide Football Club. You're eight. You are a very special group of blokes, and I think, like the rest of us, you're starting to realise we could be at the start of something really special here and really exciting. The best of the journey is yet to come. Also to Ken, Alan, Darren and the coaching teams, thank you for a massive contribution. Likewise to all the volunteers who have put such a huge effort in behind the scenes, thank you. Can I also make mention of the parents, the partners and the families who support our players and the coaches? Your support for your loved ones has been absolutely essential for us this year and um, we couldn't have done it without you. A special mention must go to the club's inclusion officer and her trusty sidekick for a job well done. Um, Ma Maddie and Brad, don't be embarrassed. Uh, your mums are real go-getters and they've been terrific for us. And, and boy, they can drink. Um, tonight, tonight is all about celebrating our achievements this year. You've heard a lot about them. You're going to see a lot more. You're going to see the, a lot more highlights. Um, it's going to be fun. But I'm a bloke that loves celebrating. I love celebrating the past. But my priorities are always on the future. So I'm going to do something a little different tonight. And you've heard a lot about this year. You're going to hear a lot more. I want to talk about the challenges ahead of us. This year was outstanding. It was an outstanding first step. For it to become outstanding full stop, we win a flag, we, we, we become financially uh, sustainable, and we're regarded as being world's best practice as a sporting club. That's what we have to achieve in the future. This year was a great first step on that path. Sure, this season exceeded our expectations. Andrew Dimitriou, the boss of the AFL, says it is the greatest turnaround in an AFL club that he has ever seen. We've had, we've had, we've had record memberships. We've had record merchandise sales. We've had AFL leading increases in home ground attendances, in television audience and digital traffic. We've gone from 14th to 5th. Great stuff. But you know what? This year owes us nothing in the year ahead. It owes us nothing. We have to make our own future. From next week, from next week, I don't want to hear us referring to this year and resting on our laurels. I don't want to be one of those clubs I don't want to be one of those clubs that keeps referring back to the past and keeps saying, oh, we were one kick away from this. Um, or, or, or we have the best coaches. Or we have two All-Australians. Or whatever. I want us to say we are Port Adelaide and we're coming for you. We're coming to get you both on and off the field. Look, I know... I know the football department understands this and the players, the challenges ahead. We're not going to be penciled in as an easy win next year by, by most of the clubs. They'll be throwing everything at us. We saw this year, what we saw this year was a combination of braveness, of flair on the field and innovation and attitude off the field. All areas of the club back themselves, back themselves in and we took it on. We have to continue in that mindset to be the most innovative club, to walk the wildest way to play highlights real football. We have brought the fun back to footy and we've got to keep doing that. So many times in sport, you see clubs after a great run start to become all careful and cautious and legitimate. We cannot be one of those clubs. 
let's not forget the attitude of this year and ingrain it into our club for the years to come. Ponder, ponder this moment. For us to improve this year on field makes us a top four team. That's pretty exciting. That's a massive challenge. Who would have thought? Off field, we have to convert this year's success and story into hard-earned sponsorship dollars. Look, I am indebted to our current sponsors for their support during the dark days of the club, and I promise we will never forget you on the journey to even greater success. But, to be frank, we need more of you, and we need to be charging a fair market rate for our sponsorships. Financially, we're certainly not out of the woods. Far from it. Nailing our fair share of the, of the national sponsorship market will go a long way to plugging the gap. Our football department has achieved enormous success this year on the third lowest football budget in the competition. Third lowest. Imagine the support and the resources we can give to this amazing bunch of blokes if we get sponsorship right. Now, you can all help here. It could be your business taking out a corporate hospitality package or a higher level sponsorship or opening the door to get a client, a supplier or an associate on board. We need your help. Adelaide, the Adelaide Oval Wall, as Soda's mentioned earlier, is a great fundraiser at the moment. It's open to corporates and individual members. Go and put your name down. That's part of us re-resourcing the organisation. This year, we made three big decisions. Now we've got to make them work. We go back home to Adelaide Oval next season. It's going to be the world's best stadium. Spectacular spectator uh, facilities. It's going to be just fabulous. Yes, it will mean a better stadium deal than what the one we have at Amy, but it's not going to provide, not going to provide the $4.9 million extra that, that has been sprouted everywhere since, since for years. Uh, AFL's modelling is about a million dollars short of that. That's our challenge to plug the gap. And we've got to plug, plug the gap. We can do it and we'll do it. Uh, this year we cracked a record 40,000 members. Many people thought we couldn't do it, but we did. We showed because you helped us. Next year, we've got to get to 50,000 members for Adelaide Oval. No one, no one tell me we can't because we can and we will and we must. Look, you be our sales force, family, friends, work colleagues. Tell them how much fun it is to be part of the Port Adelaide Footy Club, um, how fun it is to go to a game. Uh, we have to build the Port Adelaide Army. If we work hard enough, Adelaide Oval can make this, we can make this club the strongest in the competition. This year, we secured, shh, we secured the future of the Magpies. Next year, we've got to make it work. The Magpies has been a tough battle. We didn't win many friends in the SA footy establishment. There's a very real threat that the Magpies would be no longer. What we've achieved is a best practice football program which supports our AFL system and allows a pathway for South Australian foot junior footballers into the big time. We've ended up with a system, the envy of other clubs, so much so, many of them are complaining to the AFL that we're going to have an unfair advantage. What I say is good, tough. We fought for it, we've got it. And that is always a good sign. We, we need to make the Magpies a force in the SANFL. Our AFL listed players will be able to stay with one club and will expose our Magpie players to AFL standard coaching and resources. So we have one more year to tra transition our junior program to our academies and it's critical we get that right and we will get it right. This year we'll also have a new owner. The licence, our licence will transfer from Sample to the AFL. Now, that allows us to really try and get our fair share of the AFL pie. That's got to be a big challenge for us. You see, in theory, every AFL club is the same. But, quite rightly, AFL broadcasters 
have a say on who gets the big marquee games, who gets the Friday night games, and it usually goes to the glamour clubs. They get those games, they get higher attendance, better sponsorship, more money. That's unfair. The AFL knows it, so they bring in equalisation. So we get our fair share for being an AFL club and meant to be playing on a level playing field. That money is rightfully ours and we need to make sure we get it. So, three big decisions this year, three historic decisions for this club. Next year, we've got to make those three decisions work and set us up for the future and we're determined to do it. My other big challenge for all of us may seem a little unusual. Hear me out on this. I want to really bring the fun back to a day out at the footy. I want Adelaide to be a wonderful experience, Adelaide Oval, for everyone to watch. Let me preface this by saying I love the passion of Port Adelaide fans. It's wonderful. It ignites the team. It reflects who we are. But I want that passion to be fun. I want it to be good natured. Now, I've got to say over the last season or so, a tiny minority, a tiny minority of those supporters have turned that passion into aggression. And I think that's got to stop. For me, being passionate is fun, being fun and considerate to others. I want to consult the outer army and the cheer squad this year to come up next season with a code of behaviour for all our supporters at Adelaide Oval. One where we welcome fans from other clubs, we're passionate about our own, but we respect their passion for their own club. And, and I've got to say, if you come with your aggression or you're grumpy, check it at the door, because we want the best, we, we want the best conditions at Adelaide Oval for everyone. We want great facilities and a wonderful atmosphere for families to come along and mums to say, go home at the end of the day and say, we had a great day out with the family at the footy. Um, for example, we're gonna have volunteers all in teal jackets who are gonna be uh, member support staff. If you have a problem, come and talk to one of our volunteers and they'll sort it out. It's initiatives like that that are going to be ingrained in us. While these are immediate challenges, we also have an eye on the future. Our Melbourne director, Cos Cardone, leads a vision and innovation committee, a sort of think tank to plan where we're gonna be in five and 10 years time. And I think that's important and boy, it's exciting. We've got to develop this club into a world-class organisation. We want to think outside the square. We want to be innovative. We want to challenge what we do. Um, we want to do things that others don't think possible. That's the culture we all want for this club. An ethic built on hard work and challenging the norms, not one built on entitlement. No one owes us anything. We've got to make it ourselves. And that's what will ignite this club into the future. Um, in closing, can I take this opportunity to, uh, to thank the Port Adelaide board, who have all played an enormous part in steering this club back to respectability. Can I just, because we, we tend to have a stand in the background a bit and let Keith do his thing and let Ken do his thing, but they are an extremely dedicated bunch of people. Can I just ask them to, to stand and to accept our, our thanks? Um, can I, in particular, thank, thank Kevin Osborne, uh, my deputy chairman, who's been a wonderful mentor and advisor to me in this last year as I still have my training wheels on. He's the one when I get too enthusiastic, he pulls back the reins and, and says, settle down, big fella. But uh, it's been wonderful. Kevin, thank you kindly. Also to our, our chief executive, Keith Thomas, all our thanks. It has been a Herculean effort you've put in this year. It's a massive workload. I've been worried about how you've coped. Pat in particular, uh, Pat Thomas, thank you for supporting uh, Keith um, uh, the uh, over the last year. I promise 
with all my heart, the next 12 months will not be as bad as the last 12 months, all right? So thank you, Pat. <laughs> Keith has done such a good job, even my relatives refer to him as refer to him as Keith these days, rather than, oh, that bloke from Norwood. So he must be doing all right. To all our staff, thanks for a massive effort this year. But how good is the vibe to be around the club today? We walk with pride. Enjoy tonight. There's plenty to celebrate. But in the morning, welcome to, 20, to season 2014. There is a lot to do. There's a lot to achieve. We're going to do it, and we're going to do it while having a whole heap of fun. Thank you.